Hi, this is Jen Lasser with Adobe Analytics Product Management. In this video, I'm going to build on our rich text editor video by introducing another new feature called interlinking. Interlinking lets you grab a URL for a specific viz or panel within a project. Coupled with hyperlinking from the rich text editor, you can now effectively lead your readers and business users of these projects through the project by including direct links to specific things that you want to call their attention to. So for example, um, if you have a really long project, you can create a table of contents like I've demonstrated here. So I've pulled over a, uh, a text box and I've included lots of different text uh, with different sizes and, and colors based on the rich text editor. But what I've also done is created a table of contents. So for each of the key panels within my project, I'm able to link down to sp that specific panel to guide the user through the long project. So if I click visitor profile, for example, it's going to take me down to the visitor profile panel. So in order to do this, all you need to do is go to the specific panel. So let's say we want to add a link to the success metric panel. We'll scroll down the project to where that panel is. You right click on the header, get panel link, and copy it. So moving back up to the original text box, we'll now just highlight success metrics and leverage the hyperlinking feature from the rich text editor. Paste in that copied link. And now we have a direct link down to the success metric panel. So not only can you link to specific panels within a project, you can also link to specific visualizations within a panel as well. So let's say we have a key finding here of our top product, which drove 22% of our orders last week. And we want to show our readers exactly where we got that data point. So we'll go down to our success metric panel again. And within that panel, we have a table that relates to products. You can right click again on the visualization header and get a visualization link. Copy. We'll go back to the top and we can highlight any part of this that we'd like. We'll just do maybe the product name and paste in the link. So now this is a hyperlinked item. I can click on that and it will take me down to the panel as well as the exact viz within the panel um, as well. So if you have everything collapsed within a project, we will jump you down, expand the panel, expand the viz, and, and get the, the reader to the exact right spot that you've linked to. So links and, and using the rich text editor in general are not only limited to the text box feature, but they can also be used within descriptions of panels and visits as well. So if you right click on a panel, um, you can edit the description. This is something that's available today that the rich text editor will be there as well. I think a really cool use of this would be if you have a, a really long project and you want people to very easily be able to navigate back to the top what you could do is include text that says back to top and then just go get the the link to the top panel by right clicking and get panel link and then you just embed that in the text back at the bottom of the project so back to top here will hyperlink will lead users right back to the top so as they click this they'll be taken directly to the top of the project so I think there's a lot of really cool use cases for both Rich Text Editor and the interlinking feature. We've demonstrated a few here with the table of contents, um, some direct linking to exact visualizations, as well as easier navigation by including back to top links within uh, panels that are further down the page. Um, but the, the fun does not stop there. So you can actually link to other projects as well. So interlinking is about linking within a project. Um, you can use the existing functionality of share get project link to drive users to other projects as well. So this is something we, we already offer, the ability to get a link to a different project or the project that you're in. So th theoretically you could include a related project section and link to other projects that people might be interested in. So if they're reading about your KPI dashboard and all the, the metrics related to that, but they're interested in a more of a deep dive of say your marketing performance, you can include a link here to the marketing project. So clicking here, 
it'll take me over to the marketing project where they can get more information on specifically the marketing channel performance. Similarly in this project you can add a link um, back to the original project. So there's a lot of uses for um, this hyperlinking feature both within a project and across projects um, and we hope you, you guys enjoy using these and, and use them as a great way to navigate your, your readers through both the projects that you're building as well as across the different projects you're building as well.